Um, so I hope that felt good. I think it's just kind of a moment between these two. Um, both of them have this one thing in common. Hey friends, hey, welcome back to She's So Dramatic. Thank you for joining me for another video. I have another what's in my bag video for you today. This is actually gonna be another what's in my travel bag. Um, I enjoyed the last video so much. I enjoyed making that video. And as I told you before, I enjoy watching what's in my bag videos. I like to see the way people organize they, their bags. And I like to see what they bring with them on trips to make life easier and more convenient. And I love to see what kind of new gadgets are out there. So anyway, the purpose of this trip coming up is um, the final round of the high school model law competition that I was telling you about for my last trip. Um, the last one that I went to in March was the regional competition in Atlanta. And so those winners of that regional competition will now go to compete in the final round, which is in New York. Um, so again, this program is called the Next Narrative Model Law Competition. If you're interested in seeing what it's all about, uh, look it up. The uh, founder is uh, the founders of the program are at True Colors Theater Company out of Atlanta, Georgia, and they have this national uh, platform where they've invited theaters all over the country to participate. And again, my theater is shadowing the program so that we can bring it to our uh, local high schoolers. So anyway, I'll be headed to New York to watch the final round of the competition, and this is what I'm taking with me. So I do have a new bag um, that I ordered from Amazon. I thought this one looked really classy, and it will match my, um, my luggage pretty well. But this was just such a classic look, the cream, the black, and then um, this brown here on the bottom and the zipper pulls. Um, so I really like it. So let's get into it. So in this front pocket here, what I have is some tissues, some hand sanitizer spray. I like this uh, grapefruit and lemon scented one that I get from Trader Joe's and some hand lotion. So these are the things that I want to keep handy in this very front pocket. So that's what's in there. <clears throat> and this time I will be um, checking a bag so I won't have to have so many liquids in my carry-on. Um, so that'll be nice. I'll be able to check a bag this time around. Okay, so instead of me taking a separate uh, tech pouch like I did last time, I thought I would see how it would work to keep all of my tech supplies in this uh, flap, in this front flap. So this is my MacBook charger. Here is my uh, portable um, cell phone charger along with the uh, cord for that. And in this pocket, I have um, this little device that allows you to charge multiple devices at once. So if you remember me talking about this last time, this is what you would plug into the wall mount or wall block. And then there are uh, four different ports to be able to charge different uh, devices at once. So I've got that in there. And then I also have my AirPods in there. And then on this side, I also have some earbuds. Um, these are the old school uh, kind that I will use with my MacBook with the old school plug. And then this is the new, I think they call it a C. I can't remember what they call this thing. But um, that's the one that I'll plug directly into my iPhone in case my AirPods uh, lose their charge. So two different earbuds, actually three, <laughs> if you count the AirPods. So that is that flap and, uh oh, I forgot to put this back in. I'm gonna see how this works, having every all of my tech items in this front pouch. I feel like this MacBook charger is super, super bulky. So I might have to tuck that away inside the bag somewhere. Cause look how bulky that is. Let me see that out now. All right. All right. 
Next compartment is this hidden zipper here. And in this pouch, I have uh, some extra mask for the plane. And then I believe that's all I have in here. So I might be able to fit this in this pouch. But I'm just gonna keep my extra masks in there for now. And then there is yet another <laughs> compartment here on the front. And I think this is where I have my snacks. Yes. So um, I have this cute little pouch. I got this idea from um, uh, Determined to Be is the name of her channel. Her name is Michelle, but her channel name is Determined to Be. And she always has these cute little pouches inside of her bags and purses. Um, and I love that idea. Instead of having, um, you know, the smaller items just kind of floating around, getting lost all over the place in your bag. So this is going to be my little candy and gum pouch. So I've got my favorite gum here, which is the extra spearmint. I've got some cough drops, some mints, and those little strawberry hard candies. And this is a roll of Tums, just in case I need that. This is Tums. All right, so that's what I've got in this little pouch. Just some hard candies, some mints, cough drops, and of course my gum. So that's that. And then I have uh, my favorite trail mix from Target. This is the cashew cranberry almond one. I love this one from Good and & Gather. And then I have, I think I have a couple of little bags of this beef jerky and turkey jerky. This is just, you know, in an emergency. I um, I love jerky, but it's so high in sodium that I have to be really careful. Now, I thought these were pretty good. Um, this one has 16% of your daily value, and this one has 15% of your daily value. So I do really try to watch my sodium, but again, this is just in case of an emergency. If, you know, I start to feel hangry, <laughs> I'm going, I'm going to be there participating in this um, event with a large group, um, different theater artists and high school students from around the country. So we have an agenda and an itinerary and we'll be taking meals together and all that kind of thing. But you never know. I just might, I may get hungry, you know, before our next meal. So, or in the airport, I may get hungry in the airport. Um, here is my other little pouch. Um, so this came in a set of, I believe it was four. So I have the yellow one, the pink one, a gray one, and a blue one. And so what I chose to do for the pink one is, remember I was telling you that I travel with my tea, and this was just one of my little tips to kind of ease, you know, travel anxiety. So in this little pouch, I have different tea bags. I have, I have peppermint, uh, spearmint, and I believe this is peach. Yeah, peach. So these are some of my favorite teas. I also have honey packets. And I have these True Lime powdered um, crystallized lime. And so I like adding these to my teas in a pinch when I don't have fresh lemon juice. And then I've got some sugar packets. So um, this is just like I said, what I like to carry with me just to kind of keep, keep my nerves at bay. <laughs> And then I also, <clears throat> I also keep a bag of this Lipton Instant Soup Mix with me, um, just in case my tummy's not feeling well or, you know, you just never know <laughs> when you might feel like you need a little soup. So that's uh, what I have in this little pouch. So let me put these back in here. So yeah, I thought these pouches were so cute. And if I remember, I will, um, I'll put a link down in my description box for not only the bag, but these little pouches as well, because I thought that was just such a cute idea. So I think that's all I have in my snack pouch. So I got the jerky, and I need to put another box, I mean another bag of this trail mix. One is not enough. All right, so now I've got two. That'll do it. Put that back and that back. All right, so that was that little zipper pull. Okay, so, so for the next compartment, which is this zipper pull, um, I 
I have, I don't think I have anything in here. I need to put a pencil pouch in here. That's for sure. I'm missing my pencils. But anyway, I have a notebook for taking notes and jotting down ideas and stuff while I'm there. I have a script. I am directing James Baldwin's The Amen Corner in the upcoming theater season. I need to prepare some size for auditions. And so um, I hope to be able to get that accomplished while I'm gone. And then um, I saw this recommendation of a book on um, Instagram. And this is not normally a genre that I would go for. I, I guess this probably would fall into the self-help genre. Um, so that's not normally a genre that I go for, but it just really, really intrigued me because there's a perception that introverts can't be good leaders because we are so introspective and quiet and we kind of like to um, sit back and observe. So, um, yeah, I'm interested in seeing what this book is about. So that's one that I'm taking with me. So these are the items that I have in this flap. All right. And in the last, yeah, the last compartment, this is kind of the main the main cavity. So I have my wallet here. This is my coach wallet that I carry in every single bag that I own because it's so slim and just a really simple wallet. Um, I do have my Sudoku book. This is what I use to just kind of keep myself busy when I'm a little bored, maybe a little anxious, and I don't want to have my face in a screen. Um, I love Sudoku puzzles. I have um, this pouch right here, and this was another idea that I got from Determined to Be. Um, all of these, all of these wipes that I carry with me. Um, you know how sometimes they leak in your bag if they're not closed, if the, if the flap is not closed all the way, um, and if it's sitting next to something else, it might get that thing wet. So um, I'm gonna keep everything in this little plastic pouch and see how that works for me. So I've got some regular all-purpose wipes. I have some um, anti some anti antibacterial wet ones, and I have. A couple of Clorox to go. I think it was because both of them were open. So I'm just going to take both of them, see if I can use one of them up. But these Clorox to go. And then also, um, I threw this little emergency, kind of a first aid type situation in here. I just got some band aids in this pouch, along with some individual antibacterial wipes. Um, just never know what could happen. And since we are going to be with students all weekend, I thought it'd be a good idea to have just kind of an emergency first aid kit. So the only thing I don't like about this little pouch, and I just got this from Dollar Tree. I'm not sure how I feel about these handles, and so I may cut these handles off. They're so flimsy. I don't know. I may end up cutting these handles off, but this is what I'm using to store all of my wipes. So all of my wipes for the weekend are going are going to stay in this pouch. Okay. Um, and then I have uh, last two things in here is my MacBook. I'll be taking this with me so um, I can get a little bit of work done while I'm gone. I have to finish up a study guide for the play that we are producing right now, which is called Stew by Zora Howard. And then I like to just be able to watch my shows at night. Once I get back to my hotel room, I just want to be able to veg out with my criminal mind. So that's what that will be used for. Oh, there is one more thing in here. Here is my emergency feminine pouch that I use to house um, just an extra pads, extra wipes, extra panty liners, and an extra pair of panties. 
because you never know. And so I was able to uh, put these in a smaller pouch. If you remember from my last video, my pouch uh, that I used to carry was pretty big. So I thought this would take up less space. So that's what that is. Okay, so last thing in here. So last thing in here is this makeup bag. And um, this is just kind of my normal everyday items that I use. Um, this is kind of my just my normal everyday items that I use in every bag that I carry. So I have some more lotion here. I have an extra deodorant. I have my inhaler. I have my pill case and I really like this pill case because um, it stays shut. And so I just like to have this with me at all times. Um, I've got my powder foundation that I use. I use the Laura Mercier brand. You can see that. I use the Laura Mercier brand. Um, extra chapstick. Some perfume. I love the Cashmere Mist by Donna Karen. I don't think you'll be able to read that, but this is just a rollerball that I can keep with me. I have an extra perfume just in case I want to switch it up. And this is Dolce Gabbana Blue. I think this is what this is, but the, the letters have rubbed off. I have uh, some lip gloss. I have a NARS lip color. I have a Benefit um, mascara, a travel size Benefit mascara. I have this little mini sharpener for my pencils, my brow pencils and lip pencils. Just a little mini sharpener that I like to keep in there. And then I've got several pencils. I've got a brow pencil, a lip pencil, and an eyeliner. So that's the makeup that I keep in there. But then I also have two more pouches and I forgot black was the other color that these pouches came in. Yeah, so five came in a pouch. So in this little pouch right here, I have uh, kind of the things that I would need for my nails. I have some cuticle oil here. This is Burt's Bees cuticle oil. I have an extra pair of tweezers. Look at this cute lady with an afro. <laughs> so those are my tweezers. I have nail clippers, nail glue, a nail file, and another nail file. This is her twin sister. <laughs> another beautiful lady with an afro. It's another file. And I have some extra bobby pins and hair clips. And I'm glad I opened this because this is not enough. I'm going to have to add some more. So that's what's in here. And then in this little pouch, I got these little kiss pouches from Amazon also. I can't even remember what's in here. Oh, extra earrings. Just in case I walk off without earrings on, um, I've just got an extra pair, a gold pair a gold pair and a silver pair, just in case. So that is what is in this little pouch. So I really like the idea of having, like I said, little pouches to house all of your smaller items, just so that they're not like floating around, getting lost in your bag. So that is what I'm taking with me. Uh, in my carry-on bag for this quick little theater trip this weekend. I'll be gone for four days and I'm really looking forward to um, seeing these kids compete at this next level. This is going to be so much fun. Um, watching them uh, develop their voices and grow their confidence is just such a beautiful thing. So I'm really, really excited. Also, this will be my first time in Harlem. Um, you all know that I am a theater nerd. So um, I've taken plenty of trips to New York to see Broadway shows, but I usually stay right there in the theater district because I don't know how to navigate their subway system. <laughs> so um, 
this will be my first time visiting Harlem because the competition is taking place at the historic Apollo Theater in Harlem. So I'm super excited about that, being able to visit Harlem for the first time. So I'm gonna get my bag packed back up and get ready for this flight in the morning. But again, I just wanted to share with you what I am taking on this quick theater trip and I hope you enjoyed. So I will try to get some pictures and some footage of what I can. Again, since this involves students, I won't be able to take a whole lot of footage of the student activity, but um, I'll try to get in some good pictures and footage of myself and my colleagues and peers. So with that, I hope you are spending time with the people and the things that bring you joy, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.